Welcome to MiniRunch. In this video, we will configure SSO for Atlassian Cloud using AWS Cognito. Atlassian Cloud supports SAML, which allows users to authenticate to Atlassian Cloud products through existing SAML identity provider. But what if users are present in OAuth or OpenID provider? Like AWS Cognito. Will SSO still work? Can we connect Atlassian Cloud SAML SSO modules to OAuth OIDC providers? Is it even possible? Yes. It's possible with MiniRange Identity Brokering Service. Identity brokering is a way to establish trust between parties who want to use online identities of one another. MiniRange IDP supports cross-protocol brokering, which means in our case we can configure Atlassian Cloud which supports SAML protocol with any identity providers that may support any other SSO protocols like OAuth OIDC, JWT, LDAP, etc. If SAML is supported by your identity provider, you can still use brokering to use the features of MiniRange Identity Broker. Let's see few features of MiniRange Identity Broker. Multiple ID piece. You can configure multiple identity providers to authenticate different types of users with different ID piece. Multiple department-based login allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their department. Domain mapping allows users to redirect to their IDP based on their email domains. Custom attribute mapping is a provision to update the user profile attributes in the application with the user attributes received from the IDP. Secure your SSO with signed requests and encrypted SAML assertions. Username transformation extracts the required username from the received attribute using regular expression. Group mapping allows to map users' IDP groups to application groups. Integrate your application with multiple user stores, like AD, LDAP, external database, etc. to easily manage your users. Easily migrate your server SSO settings into cloud. Faster and better troubleshooting issues, support, and end-to-end -end setup assistance. You can share plugin configurations and logs via email or customer portal. As discussed earlier, we will be configuring Atlassian Cloud with AWS Cognito using MiniRange Broker. The setup is divided into two parts. We will configure SAML SSO between Atlassian Cloud and MiniRange in Part 1, and then configure OAuth OpenID Connect SSO between MiniRange and AWS Cognito in Part 2. Finally we will be concluding the setup by combining Part 1 and 2 to show the SSO between Atlassian Cloud and AWS using MiniRange Broker. Additionally, we will be covering signed request and response feature of MiniRange Broker. You can protect your data with encryption and signature checks using MiniRange. The sensitive data sent by the identity provider will be encrypted and signed with a key. This data would be verified by MiniRange and will be accepted only if it passes all the security checks. The secure data will then be passed on to Atlassian Access for user login. Firstly we will be configuring Atlassian Cloud SAML SSO using MiniRange IDP. Login to Atlassian Access Admin Console. Navigate to the Security tab. Select SAML Single Sign-On. Click on the shown link to get the SAML configuration instructions for different identity providers. If your identity provider is listed in this pop-up, you can follow the instructions mentioned in the respective link. If your identity provider isn't supported, then you will need to add the Atlassian application to it manually. Here is the attributes for attribute mapping. You will find attributes for the user's first name, last name, and name ID. You can click here to view the setup guide for configuration. Click on Got It. Now click on Add SAML Configuration. To get the Identity Provider Entity ID, Identity Provider SSO URL, and Public X509 Certificate, create a SAML application in the MiniRange IDP. This is the setup guide document with step-by-step -step instructions for configuration. Use this link to go to the MiniRange login page. If you do not have MiniRange account, then you can create one, with the help of create an account link in the login page. Log into MiniRange Admin Console. From the left panel, navigate to Apps. Click on Add Application. 
Go to SAML card, and create an app. Select Atlassian Cloud SAML app. Edit the custom application name as required. Enter the SP Entity ID, and ACS URL as shown in the video. These are generic URLs which you will find in the description as well. You'll get the Atlassian Cloud's SP Entity ID, and ACS URL, once the app is successfully created in the Atlassian Cloud. As discussed earlier, about signed request and assertion, for data encryption and secure login, make sure that sign responds, and sign assertion button is enabled. Click on save. Your app is configured successfully. To get the metadata details of this application, navigate to metadata of the application as shown. Since we are using ManyRange's identity broker, go to the information required to authenticate via external IDP section. Click on show metadata details. Copy the IDP entry ID and paste it in the given field in SAML app configuration. Copy SAML login URL and paste it in the given field. Copy X509 certificate and paste it as shown. Click on save configuration. As the application is successfully created, you will find the actual SP entity ID and SP ACS URL here. You can either copy-paste these URLs directly into the application or just copy the unique ID from these URLs and go back to the ManyRange IDP app section Edit your app and append SP Entity ID Audience URL and ACS URL with the copied unique ID Save the changes Application configuration will be updated successfully Go back to Atlassian Cloud application and navigate to view authentication policies. To enable the SSO for users, we need to add policy. Click on Add Policy, and enter the policy name. And click on Add. Under Single Sign-On, enabling for Single Sign-On, this will enforce the assigned members, to log in to Atlassian products with your identity provider. Click on Update. Now go to Members. And click on Add Members. Enter the username and click on Add Members. Now in the Members section, you can see that the member is added successfully. In the ManyRange application, navigate to Users, and select User List. We have already added the user here. You can add user by clicking on Add User button. You can either add the user by adding personal details, and then click on Create. Or else you can add the users in a bulk, by uploading CSV file. You can download the sample CSV file using this link. Let's check the connection between Atlassian Cloud and ManyRange. Now, in the Atlassian Cloud login page, enter the user mail ID, and proceed. The user will be redirected to ManyRange login page for SAML authentication. Login with ManyRange IDP credentials. You will be successfully logged into the Atlassian Cloud app, using ManyRange credentials. Hence, Test connection between Atlassian Cloud is SP, and many ranges and IDP is successful. If you do not have any identity provider, then you can always go with many range, and your setup ends here. Let's configure Auth Open ID in many range as a service provider using AWS Cognito as IDP. Go back to Add Identity Provider in many range IDP. Navigate to Auth 2.0 tab. Click here to view the setup guide instructions. Select Custom Provider as App Name. Enter the App Display Name. OAuth Callback URL is used to tell the OAuth provider where to send the token after authentication. Copy it. Go to AWS Incognito, User Pools, Federated Identities. And then navigate to App Client Settings. Paste the copied URL in the Callback URL field. In the Allowed OAuth Flows, select Authorization Code Grant. In the Allowed OAuth Scopes, select Email to access the user email address, select Open ID to authenticate with AWS Incognito, and Profile to access user's profile data. Click on Save Changes. Now go to App Clients, and click on Show Details. You will need these details to configure AWS into ManyRange IDP Broker. Copy App Client ID and paste it in the given field in the ManyRange Identity Broker. Copy App Client Secret. 
and paste it in the given field. Enter the scopes. You will find OAuth authorized endpoint, access token endpoint, get user info endpoint, in the setup guide document. You will also find these endpoints in the description. You will need your Cognito app domain name. You will find it in the AWS Cognito application, in the domain name tab on the left menu. Add your domain name in these details, and copy it. And paste it in the respective fields. Click on Save. IDP configurations have been saved. Select your IDP, and make it default. Let's test our SSO configuration between Atlassian Cloud, and AWS Cognito, using Manurange Identity Broker. If no member is added in the Atlassian Cloud app, then while logging in to Atlassian account, you will be asked for account password. However, while configuring Atlassian Cloud with Manurange Identity Broker, we had added this member. Now go to Atlassian Cloud login page, and enter the user's mail ID. User will be redirected to AWS Cognito login page for OAuth authentication. Login with your credentials. Here we are performing username based login, by using username and password for signing in. You will be successfully logged into your Atlassian Cloud application dashboard with AWS Cognito credentials, using Manurange as a broker between Atlassian Cloud and AWS Cognito. Hence, our SSO setup is successful with additional security of signed authentication requests and responses for secure login. You can check our other Atlassian apps. LDAP Connector provides user authentication from various external directories for Atlassian access. Auth OIDC app allows users to log in into Atlassian Cloud with OAuth and OpenID Connect. Use two-factor authentication for secure login to your Atlassian Cloud applications. PDF Exporter app gives the ability to export JIRA issues, in the standard business document file format like PDF and Word document. Create and share secure links for JIRA issues, and Confluence pages, allowing end users to access the issue and pages without login. We have covered the configuration of Manurange IDP as a broker between Atlassian Cloud and AWS Cognito. To understand more about OAuth or SAML configurations for your Atlassian Cloud app, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Manurange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.